Hey y'all, it's Hans back again. More hunts, brand new scope, one of the most anticipated releases, gosh, of 2022. But this thing has been teased now. This thermal scope has been teased for over a year now. Uh, today we are reviewing the iRay. This is the Alpha. Now, if you remember uh, back uh, quite a long time ago, iRay USA was first coming on the scene. This is one of the very first scopes that they talked about that they were going to release. It has been uh, there's been a lot of things going on. Obviously COVID has pushed back the release of this production, uh, challenges, as you know, with getting components, a lot of manufacturers are dealing with it as well. So this pushed the, the release way back on the alpha, but this is their most anticipated scope release, uh, since they've started selling scopes here in the United States. Now I will tell you this, IRA USA sounds like a brand new company. You may not have heard of them before. Um, they are a global company. They're a very large global company, but as far as IRA USA, which is their American distributor, uh, it is, um, they're fairly brand new as far as in this market. But again, their parent company infrared outdoor, uh, they've been around, um, for quite a while and they're one of the leaders, uh, in the globally for thermal optics and thermal manufacturing. Now this, this product, the alpha is a little bit different than some of the IRA USA products that you see, maybe the bolt or the MK one, the Rico MK ones. This is completely designed by IRA USA only available here in the United States. Uh, there's a lot of customization to the scope and we'll talk about the features of that coming up very soon, but we're going to be running through the specs. We're going to be talking about, I'm going to do this for the first time. I've never done this before. Been doing YouTube channel videos for four years. I'm going to show you what's in the box. So when you get it, what do you, ex what you expect to get in the box? A lot of people ask, uh, it's not something I really covered in the past, but I want everybody to be aware when they buy the optic, what they can expect to get. We're going to do specs. You're going to see video. Uh, overall thoughts and, and all that. But first of all, I'm going to grab this box real quick uh, while we're talking. First of all, it comes in a very nice hard case. This is, I, I don't know if it's a Pelican or an off-brand Pelican, but it's one of those hard shell, uh, very nice cases that it comes with. Um, open it up right now. You get a quick start guide. If you want to find out more information about uh, this optic, how to use it, the instruction manual. I'm having struggle st struggling with this box. Uh, you can hop on over to irayusa.com and check out some more uh, specs or information about it. But as always, uh, you can check out all of the optics that we talk about here on outdoorlegacygear.com. If you want to talk to me or Jason, if you are trying to decide what to buy, but you are struggling with the decision, you can always call me, uh, 877-350-1818. We'd love to earn your business uh, for anything night vision and thermal uh, related. So along with the scope, you've got a removable rubber uh, eye cup here. It does come with the American Defense Manufacturing Mount uh, on it for you. So that's included in with the scope purchase. So you can see it's got the removable, uh, rechargeable battery in the side. The good news, folks is that it comes with an extra battery. So you get two batteries uh, with the scope. Each battery uh, is gonna get around eight hours of runtime, maybe a little bit more, maybe a little bit less, depending on the weather conditions outside. Obviously, with any, like anything else, you can expect to get a bunch of cables, uh, USA, uh, USA, USB cables. Uh, and as you know, this does, one of the features of it is the magnetic USB charging port uh, on the bottom. So it, it comes with the cables that you need for that. Obviously you have a base, a charging base. So it's like a cradle. Your battery goes in here. You can sit it on a desk and charge it, uh, charge one while you're using the other vice versa. Uh, and then just the wall charger. So that's what comes in the box. You get an extra battery, you get the cords that go along with it. You get the charging cradle. Um, obviously the, uh, rubber eye cup comes with it. And Again, this nice Pelican case that I am not going to try to close <laughs> while I'm on camera here because I fooled with it too much. I'm just going to let it fall over with. It's okay. I'll deal with it later. Uh, all right. So the specs, we're going to run down the specs of this thing and give you a chance to show you some video. So here we go. This is a 640 by 512. Uh, this is a, obviously a thermal core. This is a thermal scope, but it's got the Matrix 3 thermal processor in it. 640 by 512 resolution, 12 micron, 50 hertz refresh rate. It starts at three power base magnification and goes up to 12 power. Now the field of view, uh, it is 46, a little over 46 feet at 100 yards. So 
that's what you can expect as far as your field of view is going to be 46 feet. Before I get too far into this, the price, $6,999, uh, just so you know. So right at almost $7,000 for this optic. Um, it does have a, they say a 2,400 yard identification range. So that's being able to see a six foot tall target at that distance, 2,400 yards. It's a long way out there. We'll talk about ID ranges. Uh, it does come with an AMOLED display to 1024 by 768. Uh, the color palettes that it comes with, white hot, black hot, red hot color, and highlight. Highlight's unusual. Uh, it's new. There's not anything like it on the market with any other uh, scope company, but it's pretty cool. I know you'll get a chance to see some of it right now. Uh, the reticle types are seven different reticle options, four different colors that you can choose. You're going to want to mount this on a Picatinny rail, uh, AR-15, a uh, any AR style rifle, any bolt action rifle. That Picatinny rail, it's a one throw lever. Man, it's awesome. American Defense Manufacturing, you can expect the best when you get this. Uh, that mount is a return to zero mount, so you don't have to sight it in every time you take it on and off the rifle. Awesome, awesome mount, but it does go on any Picatinny rail. Uh, it does have picture-in-picture -picture display. Uh, running through here, video and audio recording, um, rechargeable, removable batteries. Sorry, I'm reading this as I go down. It comes with a five-year uh, warranty, uh, IRA USA warranty, one of the best warranties in the industry, five year warranty with a five business day repair or replace guarantee. And the operating temperatures are minus four degrees Fahrenheit all the way up to 122 degrees. So that is all the specs. First thing I want to run down ID ranges. We talked about the detection range, 2,400 yards, the ID range. I would expect it to be conservatively concerted conservatively <laughs> on the low end at 400 yards and that can go all the way up to 600 yards, 700 yards, maybe even a little bit further, depending on if you're, you know, in a field and you're looking for hogs, big, big target like that. But I would say conservatively with a small animal, like a coyote, being able to tell the difference between a coyote and a small deer, you're going to get at least 400 yards identification range. Again, it depends on the weather though. If it's raining and nasty, it's not going to be that far, but at that, affects all thermal, as you know, bad weather, humid rain, that kind of stuff, any moisture is going to distort that color image, uh, that, that thermal image. So I would say again, your identification range for 600 yards, four to 600 yards, and it could stretch out that out even further. All right, let's walk around the scope. I, I hope I don't seem like I'm rushing this review, but there's so much to talk about here. So you got the plastic, uh, objective lens, cover right here. So that's a plastic protective cover. I want to tell you some of the uniqueness about this scope, especially designed by the team here in, in the United States, IRA USA. Uh, you've got a very nice uh, adjustable objective lens focus right here that you can really control with one finger. Uh, in the past, in some scopes, you know, it takes your whole hand to adjust the focus, but this is one finger adjustment. It's got uh, four tactile buttons in the menu button. I don't know if you can tell is raised. So it operating at night, it's kind of easy to feel what those buttons are and what they do. Very good design. Again, there's a lot of attention to night hunters here. People, you know, the people that design this hunt at night a lot, y'all. Uh, and they know what people want and they knew how to design a scope, you know, geared towards that. Uh, removable rechargeable battery clips right in here, just slides right into the side. It does have a focusable, uh, eyepiece diopter focus right here. This ring around the side, the eye cup pulls on and off real easy. I used it without the eye cup on it. So I, I just, I slapped it on here for the review. So you can tell it's coyote tan the first coyote tan thermal scope that I can think of on the market ever. So there's a first for this scope. Uh, they also, the IRA Bravo that they produce and release a while back is gray. So uh, they're mixing it up with the color options. But this is um, a great looking scope. A lot, does a lot. And again, I wanted to point out the attention to detail because with the magnetic uh, port right here for, you know, a, a battery charger or anything like that that you want to put right there, uh, with that being on there, with the um, just the, the texture of the, uh, the, the cover of this thing, the, the housing is very textured. So it doesn't slip around. If you're holding it in your hand to scan with, uh, that is some thought to detail. Obviously the raised tactile buttons, uh, the focus adjustment here, 
I mean, there's a lot of, a lot going on here and the American defense manufacturing, which has kind of been or turned into a staple in the night hunting in industry as it pertains to mounts. So, um, that's a walk around of the scope. I, I'm going to say with all the anticipation, you know, it, it, this is where some c- companies get themselves in trouble is because of, uh, they keep people waiting so long for a scope and they keep building it up and building it up. And by the time it's released, people's expectation is so high that it's hard sometimes for a scope to live up to that. Um, I Ray has produced and put out several uh, good scopes here in the last year or two. I mean, you've got the, the Rico MK ones, you've got the I Ray Bravo, you got the bolt TL 35, you got the zoom monoculars, all of the optics that we've reviewed and tested here, I mean, they've been really, really good. Uh, and this one I'm going to say is no different than that. Um, the advantages and what I like, well, let me start with what I don't like. <laughs> and then I'll end on a, on a good note. The, the negatives. I would say that the negative, the biggest negative for me is the audio. Um, it does record video and audio, but the audio quality is not great. Um you know, there's a lot of scopes on the market that don't record audio that only record video, but of the companies that have a scope that record audio, this one's towards the bottom. And, and I, I'm not going to offend anybody. I, I think everybody knows that it's not a surprise or a shock to anybody. The audio quality is not great. The video quality that, you know, you see when you take the video off the scope looks fantastic. I mean, looks really, really good. And that reminds me, there's an easy way to get video and audio off the scope. And that's because this, you know, with their uh, Wi-Fi function and the app that you can load on your phone. So the infrared outdoor app is the one that you're going to use with this scope. You can um, live, basically live stream the, vi- you know, the screen or the video through this to your phone. So if you want to have this turned on and have your phone turned on and, and look on your phone, what you see through the scope, you can do that. It's called viewfinder mode. Uh, or you can also... Uh, just um, you get download the videos off of it. Download the videos, share it to your computer or whatever. So it does have Wi-Fi. Um, so I, the audio, going back to the negatives, the audio is the big one. It is the biggest one. Um, uh, other than that, I mean, there's not. It, 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 again, y'all know that the IRA produces a good product. You've seen their marketing videos. You've seen the vi- vi- picture quality. You've seen the vi- picture quality on the videos here. Very, very good picture quality. We're going to roll on into the pauses, but I wanted you to know first and foremost, if you get this scope expecting fantastic audio, it's not going to be there. Uh, the positives, great design, a lot of attention to detail, a lot of thought goes into what night hunters need and want and how to operate a scope at night and what's going to make that job easier to do. Uh, picture image is fantastic. Obviously it comes with the quick release mount, comes with uh, the, the packaging that it comes with the, the hard case, the extra battery, which is a another $160 value, this, the mount, a $200 value, you know, uh, you really can't put a price on the magnetic USB port. I'm, I'm sure you could, but it would be hard for us to do that. But uh, again, you're getting a lot of extras with the alpha, uh, along with the fantastic detail in the picture image, but really like the focus knob adjustment, um, really like the ease of use. Operating the scope is very easy to do. Uh, the menu is plain and simple. It's easy to operate. Love the fact I love the Infrared Outdoor app. The app works flawlessly, works very easy. It's so easy to get videos on and off this scope. I was doing it right before this. I was filming this video and I was able to get off several videos in just a few minutes. I mean, it was, and they were long videos as well. So, um, uh, with that being said, for $7,000, I know it sounds like a lot of money. Um, but there is a lot of value packed in this scope room. You know, it is a 640 resolution. Uh, so that puts it into a certain price category and all the extras and the features and the five-year warranty and the extra battery and the mount. I mean, it does add up to more than $7,000 of value if you start piecing this together, uh, piece by piece. So, uh, it is worth the money. Um, now if you have a question about, if this scope is right for you, if it's going to fit the type of hunting you do, if you want to know what this scope looks like compared to other scopes out on the market, give me a call, give Jason a call 877-350-1818. You can see all of our past reviews on the late night vision show.com. That's a weekly podcast that Jason and I do. We've already reviewed this scope over there, uh, but you can go check that out. If you haven't seen it yet, please go do so. 
Uh, but you can always check out all of the optics on OutdoorLegacyGear.com. Thank you for giving me a chance to steal a little bit of your time tonight or today uh, to check out the review of the, the IRA USA Alpha. Uh, we are excited to have it in our lineup. And uh, we expect more great things from IRA USA. So stay tuned right here on the Hans ETX YouTube channel. Y'all stay safe in the fields and uh, keep making the bacon pancakes. We got a lot of reviews, y'all. I'm so excited. We got the IRA USA micros coming out, or they're already out, but we're doing reviews on them. I've got clips. I've got video, and uh, that's that review's coming up very soon. So y'all stay tuned. Uh, again, stay safe in the fields.